Hello, Gamer Rome is back, and in this video, I am going to become the richest noob in Blast Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gamernome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the Echoes slam, oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. So I made a video, the fastest way to grind Bonnie in the first C. And that strategy is the Vice Admiral Strat, but I've read comments saying that they have a better way to grind, so I decided to prove to you that our strategy is the best one. So first comment, Yeti Quest giving same as Chief Warden and also easier. Okay guys, so let's head to the Frozen Village and we're gonna time it, okay? So guys, when you want to grind, you're gonna do server up, right? So at the starting point, we're gonna start the timer, there you go, and you need to get to the quest giver right guys you also need to include that time okay so there you go yeti quest and we are going to head to the yeti now and defeat him guys take note that we are already level 390 but the good thing with this quest is you can get this as early as level uh, 105 yes so guys there is no wall strat here and it took us 22 seconds to finish this one okay moving on next comment my method of grinding in first C is going to upper sky, collecting all chests, rejoining servers. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Guys, if you don't have a door fruit, it will take you 20 seconds just to reach the chest area. If you have light fruit, 5 to 8 seconds. But with door fruit, it will be a lot faster. But guys, you need to unlock the C skill, door gateway, and you need a cannon or something that will destroy the door. Right, where the chests are located. So there are 3 chests here. Don't worry, I will total. The amount of money that we will get from these chests check it out guys 14 seconds and counting there you go you need something to destroy this door okay we will not time that part because it's a mistake returning the time the moment we get a chest there you go okay 22 seconds okay almost 30 seconds there you go and we got 10,131 cash Again, if there's no door fruit, 40 seconds, okay? Do not worry, we will compare all the methods later. Next comment. Prison is a lot better for grinding because the bosses are easy to defeat. And when you kill Warden, blah blah blah, you will get lots of money. Okay, so let's head to the prison. There you go, we're gonna time it, guys. Okay, so first, our target is the Warden, right? Again, there are a total of 3 bosses here and lots of chests, to be honest. No wall strat guys, why? Because you will be wasting lots of time during, right? So you need to defeat it face to face and also you need a minimum level of 240 to start these quests. Again, the most important quest here is the swan quest because it gives out the most bellies. Okay, so we're done with the warden and that is 6,000 bellies. But check the time! 33 seconds, next up is the chief warden. Here you can use the wall strat because it has a long sword. There's a high chance that you will get damaged. There you go. 40 seconds. Approaching 50. We're almost done here with the Chief Warden. Okay. So after this one, guys, we can start defeating this one. Can you do wall strat here? No, because again, at a low level, the damage of this one is really high. Unless you have long range attack. Which is really good, okay? So again, doing wall strat, we have a question mark here. Because I think if you defeat it face to face, it will be a lot faster. Again, if you use wall strat, it is a lot slower. Okay, so there you go. 1 minute, 20 seconds. Guys, this is longer, but it will give you more bellies, okay? Okay, 27, 28. 1 minute, 30 seconds. Almost done here. And that's it guys, 1 minute 34 seconds, 31,000 bellies not including the chests, but if you decide to include it, 35,000 plus, but with a longer time. Now let's compare it to our strategy, there you go, the marine fortress. Guys, the technique starts on picking sides, so if you choose a pirate, check this out, guys, you will spawn here. So that is really far from the quest giver, so I don't suggest this one again, picking pirate when doing the quest. So, guys, if you want to grind, choose Marine. Why? Because you will 
spawn near the quest giver. Check this out. There you go, guys. You're so near. So you will save lots of time, right? Okay, again, when you pick a side, choose the marine when grinding here. So let's start the timer. There you go. Okay, Vice Admiral. Check it out. Soru. And let's defeat him. Check that out. Guys, 11 seconds, 15,000 bellies. Very easy, right? That's very easy. And not just that, fruits spawn here lots of times. Check this out. I got a dark fruit. And not just that, also, I think I got the ice fruit. Hmm. There it is. There you go. Ice proof. Also, guys, spike fruit and lots of other fruits. So I'm gonna show it to you. In total, I got the dark. There you go. Chop, bomb, spike, and smoke. So guys, for the Yeti, you will get 10,000 bellies in 22 seconds. For the chests, 30 seconds, 10,000 bellies. Prison quest, you will get 35,000 bellies but in 94 seconds. Guys, that's equivalent to 8 Vice Admiral quests that will give you 120,000 bellies. So clearly, our technique is the best. So guys, as a bonus, here is another comment regarding Skypea, blah blah blah, defeat NL. Defeat the boss and get the chest. So let's defeat Whisper, okay? Stone Strat, right? Guys, check this out. I haven't even timed it yet. There you go. So we're gonna time it. Guys, check this out. Why is the Vice Admiral quest the best? Because it will take time for you to defeat this boss. See that? 11 seconds has passed. Still half HP. Maybe you will tell me that uh, you can use other fruits such as the light fruit. Yes, go for it guys if you want. Also, you need a level requirement of level 500 here. Compared to the Vice Admiral, you need level 130. So at that level, you can start grinding. Guys, we're almost done with the Whisper. Guys, this boss will give you 15,000 bellies. So that's already 36 seconds. That's equivalent to 3 Vice Admiral quests. That's 45,000 bellies, right? Okay, now going to the chests. We have 3 chests here. There you go. Almost one minute, guys. So now, guys, do you think well, which is better? This is strategy or our strategy, the Marine Fortress Vice Admiral strategy? It's getting clearer and clearer that our strategy is the best. Okay, there you go. We're done with the chests. So, guys, 25,000 on getting chests and defeating the boss. No NL yet. So let's continue the time. Let's head towards NL. There you go. So guys, I think we need to still defeat NL. I mean, defeating him is not that easy. So again, you will get an additional 20,000 here, which means you will get 45,000. So again, this proves that Vice Admiral Quest is the best. But Gamer Nom, I have a question. Why did you make this account? Guys, this is just a preview on my next Noob to Pro video. Check this out. I have 8 million bellies and I am using a triple katana. So guys, can you guess what video or what Noob to Pro video will I post next? Please comment it in the comment section and I hope that you learned something from this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out!